Good day, Louisians. This is now week 3, day 1, and day number 2. And our discussion or our lesson will be the second normalization. But before we start, please allow me to apologize on our discussion about the first normalization. Kasi dun sa first normalization, medyo nasobrahan natin. Yung final output natin dun sa first normalization na discussion po natin is yun, pa, yun po yung second normalization. Or that is the expected answer or that is the expected output for the second normalization. So last time on the first normalization, we identify three tables. Three tables which is the student table, the subject table, and of course the course table. Kaya lang, itong output natin na ito na three tables is a first normalization. Uh, this is now a second normalization. Yung output po natin dito is now a second normalization. Paano naging second normalization? Because we fetch already the different ID na manggagaling sa iba't ibang table. So dapat dun sa first normalization, Ang gagawin lang natin sa first normalization is we are going to convert the form, which is the paper, into a table. Now, pag na-convert na natin siya into table, then i-convert or i-group ulit natin yung mga field names based on their functions and their uses. Kaya tayo nagkaroon ng tatlong table. So, dun sa table na yon, hindi pa natin kukunin si subject code at saka course ID dun sa student ID. So, hindi muna tayo kukuha ng mga information na manggagaling sa iba't ibang table. If, if we are going to talk about the first normalization. Pag sa second normalization naman, yun na po yung kukuha tayo ng mga records or information na manggagaling sa iba't ibang table. Now, dun sa first normalization, our first or our expected output dun sa first normalization ay dapat ganito lang siya. Okay, meron tayong student I, uh, student table, course table, and the subject table. Okay? Now, for the f please allow me to discuss also the second normalization. So, we are done already with the first normalization. We're now going to do second normalization. For the second normalization, we have what we call partial dependency. In order for me to explain this to you, we are going to use our example a while ago. So, partial dependency, ito, or matasabi natin na yung field names natin is a partial dependency if yung records or itong mga records na to ay nakadepende sa isang primary key. Okay? Ay dependent sila sa isang primary key. Example, itong student name and contact number, wala itong mga student name and contact number without the student ID. Bakit wala, uh, bakit wala itong mga records na to without the student ID? Because you assign the student ID as a primary key. Wherein, itong mga record na to is not a primary key. So, itong mga record na to ay dependent sa primary key. So, reminder, partial dependency, ito po yung mga records or yung mga records na hindi primary key ay dependent sa primary key. Okay? Pag sinabi natin primary key, that is a unique value. Hindi pwedeng maulit-ulit na information at hindi rin po pwedeng um, lagyan ng information which is blank. So, dapat meron tayong student ID which is a primary key. Without the student ID, wala tayong student name, contact number, and subject code. At pag dinilit natin si student ID, mawawala din po si subject name, si contact number, at si subject code. Code. So example, i-delete ko itong ID na to. Once I delete this ID, madidelete na rin po yung information ni information ng mga to. The contact number, yung uh, pangalan niya, contact number, yung subject code niya, at saka yung course ID. So naglalaro lang po ang second normalization sa ID. That's why, itong, or para malaman din natin kung ka, ano yung mga subject na itong mga estudyante ito at anong course na itong mga estudyante ito, we are going to get their ID. So, na-explain ko na ito sa uh, first normalization, which is medyo napasobrahan, that is a second normalization na po pala siya. Okay, so pag first normalization, i-convert lang natin yung form into a table. Then, i-group natin yung mga field names ng mga table natin 
it based on their function. Then the second normalization is yung inexplain ko na kukunin natin yung mga ID na mga ibat iba or galing sa mga ibat ibang table. ID ng mga records na galing sa ibat ibang table in order for us to identify who owns that information. So, parang itong first or itong mga information or students natin, malalaman natin kung ano ang subject nila at ano ang course nila based on the course ID and the subject ID or the subject code. So, that is the second normalization. And for the third normalization, for the third normalization, we have also what we call transitive dependency. So, pag sa second normalization, meron tayong tinatawag na partial dependency. Sa third normalization naman, meron tayong tinatawag na transitive dependency. Pag sinabi naman nating transitive dependency, ito yung mga information na, na, na dependent, mga information na dependent sa mga foreign key. So, dun sa partial dependency, ito yung mga information na dependent sa primary key, which is a unique value. Now, itong transitive dependency naman, ito yung mga information na um, dependent sa mga field names, which is not a primary key. So, let's say for example, dito sa ating student table. Sa student table kanina, meron tayong subject ID, student name, subject code, subject or uh, course ID, and contact number. Kaya lang, yung contact number dito sa student table, student information table, ay natanggal. Napunta siya sa ibang or gumawa tayo ng panibagong table. So, we are going to avoid transitive dependency. So, in order for us to do that, we are going to create another table. But how are we going to identify if it is a transitive dependency? So, itong contact number na to, or itong field names na contact number, nandito siya kanina. After student name. Okay, after student name, followed by the contact number. Kaya lang, paano natin na-identify na si contact number ay transitive or ay isang transitive dependency? Now, saan nakadepende si contact number? So, si contact number ay nakadepende po siya sa student name. Nakadepende po siya sa student name, which is student name is not a primary key. Sinong primary key? Si student ID. So, si student name pwedeng maulit-ulit. Kaya lang, itong si contact number ay nakadepende, nakadependent sa student name. So, without the student name, hindi natin ma-identify kung kaninong contact number ito. So, nakadepende si contact number kay student name. Okay? So, nakadepende si contact, uh, si contact number sa si student name. Yun yung tinatawag nating transitive dependency. Pag sinabi naman nating partial dependency, yung information ay nakadepende sa primary key, which is the student ID. Pag sinabi naman nating transitive dependency, yung contact number or yung information ay nakadepende sa foreign key, which is not assigned as a primary key. So, pwedeng maulit-ulit yung mga information. Sa primary key, hindi pwedeng maulit-ulit. So, to avoid transitive transitive dependency, we are going to use another table for the contact number. So, ito na yung tinatawag na natin or pwede natin tawagin itong table na to as a contact table. Contact table, paano natin malalaman kung kanino itong contact number na to through their student ID. So, ilalagay natin sa bagong table natin yung student ID, then the contact number. So, through that, ma-lessen or ma-avoid na natin si transitive dependency. Okay? Kaya magkakaroon na tayo ng tatlong table. Okay? So, yun lang po siya. Now, that is the third normalization. For your activity, let's review your module. Module. Um, this is now week number three. Now, 
Here are the discussion about the second normalization. And meron din po tayo dito mga anomalies, the insertion, deletion, and of course the modification anomalies, which is I which I discuss on the first normalization. Now, dito sa activity 1, you're going to convert your answer on the second activity on second day of week number 2. Kaya lang, wala na po tayong gagawin dito sa activity na to kasi dito sa week number 3, activity number 1, ay nagawa na po natin dun sa um, week number 2, day number 2. So, wala na po tayong isasagot dyan. Huwag nyo na pong sagutan itong week number 3, day number 1. Okay, week number 3, day number 1, which is about second normalization kasi nagawa na natin yung second normalization uh, on the last activity, which is yun yung sinagot natin sa first normalization. So, kung ano yung score nyo or yung score nyo dun sa first normalization, ay yun na din po yung score ninyo dun sa second normalization. So, magsasama na lang po yung week number 2, day number 2, at saka week number 3, day number 1 na scores po. Iisa lang po yung score nun. Okay? So, pero kung gusto nyo pa rin sagutan, it's up to you. Irerewrite nyo lang naman yung sagot nyo dun sa activity or dito, yung activity dito sa week number 2. Okay? Week number 2. Now, let's proceed on the third normalization. Third normalization activity, kung ano't ano pa man yung, maging, yung naging sagot ninyo dun sa second normalization or dun sa first normalization, you're going to identify transitive dependency or yung mga field names na belong sa transitive dependency, then ihihiwalay nyo sa into other table. Ihihiwalay nyo na po siya into the other table, then use this space for your answer. So, let's see your activity on the first normalization para mas ma-explain ko po siya at para hindi na po kayo masyadong ma-confuse so ito yung activity natin on the first normalization on the first normalization so we identify here or ito na yung mga naging field names natin Okay, depend, pero depende pa rin kung ano yung sagot ninyo dun sa first normalization and dun sa second normalization Pero sino sa tingin nyo dito ngayon ang mga belong sa transitive dependency? Example, or bibigyan ko kayo ng hint. Magtatanong lang ako ha. Si phone number ba? Si phone number ba? Or mobile phone? Dependent po ba siya sa full name? Okay, it's up to you. Tapos, si salary ba? Dependent po ba siya sa job title? Okay. Bahala na po kayong sumagot. Binibigyan ko lang po kayo ng hint para hindi na kayo masyadong mahirapan. How about contact number? Si contact number ba ay dependent kay full name. Okay, it's up to you na po. So, yun lang po yung may bibigay kong mga hints. So, it's up to you na po kung ano ang magiging sagot nyo sa second normalization at first or first normalization. Pero again, kung nakapag-submit na po kayo ng first normalization at sinunod nyo yung discussion natin uh, last time, then pwedeng hindi nyo na po sagutan yung second normalization which is the activity number one. Pero dito sa third normal normalization, you need to answer it. Okay? Third normalization, you need to answer it. You're going to identify the transitive dependency and create a new table for the transitive dependency na na-identify nyong field names. Then, uh, create a new table in order for us to avoid transitive dependency. Okay, transitive dependency. The next meeting we're going to discuss now on how are you going to create a database using Microsoft Office Access. So, dito na po tayo gagamit ng computer. Okay, computer po. So, that's for for this week. So this is now week number three, day number two. So next week will be week number four.
Thank you for listening.